Hey, Gemini. Good morning. It's me, Tessra from Tessra's Tarot, your favorite tarot reader. So you know what to do. Go ahead and like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so you'll know when a new video comes out. For all your coffee and glam needs, visit www.theglamcafe.com. <clears throat> if you'd like a personal reading, visit the description box and all the information is there. So it's Monday. It is Monday. Let's get into this. Excuse me, you guys. You guys don't let me take a sip. So let's see what kind of energy you got around you. I did a collective reading last night. It's a blackout reading, so there's nothing, there's nothing being shown. And I was saying that I have a feeling that something big is getting ready to happen. Or there's getting ready to be a big change. Okay. Mm. Growth, abundance. Growth and abundance. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. I am a limitless being and can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. Okay. That is very true. You can. Self-esteem. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. Mm. So I feel like there's a shift in you guys' um, the way that you guys feel about yourself. The last couple of weeks have been kind of very somber energy. Um, but I feel like you guys have shifted that, okay? I also feel like you guys may have shifted your attention to things more um, money-driven, okay? Let's get some more energy. Oh, this card isn't even supposed to be in here, but I'm going to take it. Accelerated motion. That's Eight of Wands energy. So again, I feel like there's going to be some things that are going to happen quickly. I mean, like, one day, like today, things are the way they are. And tomorrow, or the next day, things are totally different. I feel like it's going to be that kind of change. It's not going to be a change that you see like you watch happen it's just going to be like bam i think you guys are getting over a broken heart or coming out of that like i said i feel like like the last couple of weeks <clears throat> your energy has been kind of somber but i feel like a lot of you guys are moving past that okay so i feel like a lot of you guys are moving past that especially with that broken heart coming up in reverse what other energy does you and i have or what other energy other messages you have for Gemini. Patience. So I feel like there's about to be an ex I feel like something is getting ready to take off that you've been patient about, okay? Could be dealing could be dealing with an earth sign just because the seven of pentacles popped into my head while looking at that. But I feel like it's gonna happen swiftly. Again, like if you got a business and you know, let's just say you started a business last month and the whole month you only got one sale. Okay, so I feel like at, by the end of the week, you may have like a hundred sales, like that kind of swift movement, okay? That kind of swift movement. <clears throat> and something that you're not gonna see coming. Base chakra. I always aching or compare that to the Ace of Pentacles. So again, this is the number one. So it's an Ace. Um, or in the way I read it. Again, I feel like there's something that you've been working on, okay, that is getting ready to pay off for you. And I always, and if you look back, you know, three weeks ago, I said when you let go of something and I felt like it was a love relationship, your money would flow. I feel like because you're coming out of that brokenhearted energy, everything else is going to flow together. I hate to even pull love cards because let's pull tarot and let's just see where it takes us. Because I don't want to focus on love because that's not what it's about. Any messages that you have for Gemini?
Nine of Swords. So something swift, okay? Something swift. Stability, okay, with this Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So I feel, I just feel like it's going to happen all of a sudden. Something's going to happen all of a sudden, okay? That's going to bring you some kind of stability with this Ten of Pentacles. Could be dealing with a earth sign if this is about love for you you'll know so if you were dealing with someone who was juggling i see that you have definitely cut this person out okay with this queen of swords in reverse you're in don't play with me mode, okay? So if you were dealing with somebody who was juggling, I see where you definitely have cut them out. So if they, if they were acting like they weren't going to make a decision, you made a decision for them. I feel like you have been patient with this person. <clears throat> but I also feel like you may not feel the same about this person with, this, with, with that broken heart in reverse, Okay. And it doesn't take Gemini long. Like we may get our feel, our feelings hurt, but it it's 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 not a lot. It's uh, I can't even talk today. It's not long before we be back on our shit. Okay. So somebody may so somebody may be coming in wanting to speak to you. <laughs> somebody that you rejected or somebody that you will reject or someone who feels rejected by you or somebody that you feel rejected by but i feel like there's somebody here that wants to come in and speak to you okay with, the, with this ace of swords falling up under this knight of swords somebody wants to come in maybe somebody has um gotten clarity about something <sighs> isn't it always like this isn't it so i feel like this is somebody who previously rejected you okay rejected your love okay and was juggling and i feel like this person wants to come in and speak to you about another try especially with this ace of cups here this is somebody who broke your heart though with this three of swords here and with those oracle cards that i first pulled with the broken heart in reverse you're over it um so again too little too late you're over it with this queen of swords in reverse you don't really want anything to do with this person I feel like this person may be hurt that you're not speaking to them. If you guys aren't speaking, or if this person did come to you and try to talk to you, I feel like this is this person is heartbroken because you rejected them. It's always like this. Let's get some energy on some of this stuff. Clarify three of swords. Clarify three of swords. Not today. Not dealing, hurt, avoiding, and conversations. Call person boundaries. Still angry. So I feel like that's your energy. Like I said, I, I feel like you're still upset with this person. Okay, and you no longer want want to deal with this person. This person, this person did something to break your heart <clears throat> with that three of swords. That is my third party card. Um, so I feel like this person was juggling, okay? Clarify four cups. Clarify four cups. Okay. The snake, competition, enemy, clever malicious look over your shoulder the other woman okay so i feel like <clears throat> you rejected this person due to the fact that they were dealing with someone else like i said okay there was another person here 
which I already know, because I mean, my um, my Three of Swords card is out there, so I already know that. Clarify Ten of Pentacles. Okay. <clears throat> Some of you guys can be dropping stuff. Focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. So I feel like this is saying, so I feel like this is you focusing on you and your own stability, okay? What if I turn the swords in reverse? Same chemistry, like each other equally, having fun. Did you meet somebody new? Did you meet somebody new? Give me one more on the Queen of Swords in reverse. <clears throat> Some of you guys may be dropping stuff a lot. Very clumsy, fumbly energy. Give me one more Queen of Swords. Give me one more on the Queen of Swords in reverse. Kisses. Unconditional loving, giving and receiving, affection, falling in love. So a lot of you guys are um a lot of you guys are rejecting this person because you've gotten someone else. You have another love interest. Clarify now the swords. So you ain't thinking about them because you got another person. Clarify now the swords, okay? The chaser. Chaser in codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues. So I feel like that's your energy, okay? I feel like that's your energy. I feel like at that point, you were chasing this person. Or at one point, you were chasing this person, okay? And this person was... um was dealing with more than one person. Clarify Ace of Swords. It's funny how it came out on top of the Knight of Swords. Bottom of the deck, love call. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. So I feel like this is this past person wanting to have a conversation with you, okay? Wanting to have a conversation with you because you've moved on, okay? Or at the very least, you've pulled your energy back. But I don't see you doing that. I see you rejecting this person because you're still heartbroken and upset. Well, I don't even think you're still heartbroken because that Oracle card, that first one I pulled out was broken heart in reverse. I don't even think you are heartbroken about it. I just think you're pissed about it, okay, about what they did. So I just feel like you're over it. You're over the situation. Let's get some Tetris Tarot. Let's see what she say. They do not feel bad about what they did. Okay. So if you're looking for an apology, uh, I don't think, you know, I don't see Page of Cups out here. Um, I think this person just wants to come in and act like nothing happened, okay? And just see, can they get you... Can they get you back like they normally have, okay? They are heartbroken. Came out in reverse again. I feel like that's your energy, though. I really do. All they want is sex. They know they didn't treat you right. Okay? Bottom of the deck, someone is secretly pregnant.
Come on, see if we have some eyes. See if we see some eyes. Reconsider. Not the right time. Consider what? Clarify, reconsider. I feel like there's a decision that you're getting ready to make or that you're about to put in place. And I feel like they're telling you to reconsider it. That it's not the right time for whatever you're trying to do. Eight of Pentacles. It has something to do with work, okay? Has something to do with work. So if there is something that you're planning to do or thinking about doing in terms of work with this Eight of Pentacles, it's telling you to reconsider that this is not the right time. Okay. I don't see where you're thinking about working on this situation, but again, if you are, this is saying reconsider that this is not the right time. Okay. So Gemini, I hope this was helpful for you. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell so you'll know when a new video comes out. For all your coffee and glam needs, visit www.theglamcafe.com. If you need a personal reading, my information is in the description box, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.